Welcome, this is Today in the News. First, the highlights. Bandits attack headquarters of Nigerian Defense Academy in Kaduna. Suspected bandits with locally made guns apprehended by police in Niger State. Police parades 35-year-old and an accomplice for planning the abduction of a stepfather in Sakoto State. 300-level female student of Kwara State University abducted by unknown gunmen. Bandits have invaded the permanent site of the Nigerian Defense Academy in Kaduna. The bandits who stomped the site in the early hours of today killed two officers and abducted one. The bandits who came in a vehicle were said to have passed through the security gate into the academy disguised in military uniforms, after which they proceeded to the officers' quarters. The sound of gunfire, however, alerted the troops of the NDA quick response team who arrived at the scene but were unable to rescue the kidnapped officer as the bandits were ready gone with the victim. The casualties include one officer, Major Dantong, who was kidnapped, while Lieutenant Kedo Wula and Flat Lieutenant CM Okoronko were shot dead. Authorities of the Nigerian Defense Academy in Kaduna have confirmed the incident and the casualty figure, while also confirming that troops are in pursuit of the fleeing bandits. A four-man syndicate possessing two locally fabricated guns have been arrested for suspected banditry in Niger State. This was disclosed in the press release by the police public relations officer DSP Wasiwa Abiodun. Operatives of the POF Ada 2 of the Niger State Police Command attached to Kagara Division implementing Operation Restore Peace in Niger State arrested the following four suspected bandits. Show Usman, age 21, Idris Ado, 20 years old, Nasiru Dogo, also known as Badari, age 21, Umar Yahaya, age 21. The suspects were intercepted and arrested on their way to Garungaba Market, an area that has been flagged as flashpoint by the command. Sakoto State Police Command has paraded a 35-year-old man and his accomplice for planning the abduction of a stepfather in Sakoto. The suspect was paraded alongside his 25-year-old accomplice, whom the police described as role in the saga as professional. Parading the suspects alongside other suspected criminals at the command headquarters, Sakoto State Police Commissioner Karmadine Okunola says the suspects threatened their victims and demanded he make payment of 5 million naira as ransom or risk being killed. Authorities of the Kwara State University have confirmed the kidnap of a female undergraduate of the institution identified as Khadija Isiak. She's a 300-level mass communication student. In a post on the institution's Facebook page by its director, University Relations, Abdul Razak Sani, the institution said the student was abducted along Okoru Road in Malete Town. The Department of State Service has approached the Court of Appeal challenging the ruling of Federal High Court, which granted bail to 12 aides of Sunday Boho. The appeal particularly challenges the bail granted to four out of the 12 aides. Counsel to the DSS, David Awo, made this known today at the Federal High Court, presided over by Justice Obiora Eguatu, after withdrawing the application earlier filed, seeking to cancel the bail granted to four of the applicants. Meanwhile, the Deputy National Chairman South of the People's Democratic Party, Elder Yemi Akinwomi, has postponed the National Working Committee meeting of the party earlier scheduled for Tuesday, 24th of August 2021 in Abuja. The postponement, which according to him is pursuant to Section 35, Subsection 3B of the Constitution of the PDP, which empowers him to summon and preside over party meetings in the absence of the National Chairman. He added that party's attention was drawn yesterday evening to a court order which purports to restrain its national chairman, Prince Uche Sekundas, from summoning and presiding over the meetings of the organs of the party. Fourth Republic lawmaker, Senator B. Durojaye, is dead. Sources said Durojaye died in the early hours of Tuesday in Lagos while receiving medical attention. Senator Durojaye, aged 88, was once the Chairman, Board of Commissioners for Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC.